Hello folks, Sam Owens here with some very helpful information. Um, this is a follow-up video for the DIK JAK battery disconnect uh, relay. This is it right here and I'll just kind of peek it over so you can see it. Uh, there's been a lot of response uh, on YouTube uh, for my video on how to hook this up. But it generates a lot of uh, questions about how much uh, current does this draw? Is this gonna kill my battery? Is it uh, drawing current all the time? Am I, uh, how long will it last? All of these questions are gonna be answered in this video or give you the facts that you need. I have taken my video, uh, my relay, disconnect relay out. I brought it to my workbench. I've got the relays hooked up uh, to show you the measurements of just what we've got. First, across these contacts, it's uh, a relay contact. The relay uh, is not operated. It's going to be open. No current is flowing right now. This is measuring resistance. In other words, those relay contacts are not closed. The red, or, or the green, and the white go to these leads over here, and it doesn't matter polarity, resistance is just measuring continuity. It's either open or closed. Right now, 0.L means it's uh, open. It's, the relay is not operated. You'll see this meter show an indication when I operate the remote and operate the relay. Okay, that established. I've got one other meter over here which is going to measure current. Right now it's set up. Uh, these are the leads right here coming out of the relay. Uh, a, uh, a red and a black. Okay, positive uh, lead from the uh, relay should go to positive battery. So it goes around through here into this lead and you've got to go into a current meter. This is uh, to measure milliamps. Milliamps are a low uh, flow of current. Amps, or a, a full amp, is a lot of current. Milliamps are very small. And you're going to see the reading uh, that I get when the relay is idle, not operated. Okay, it goes through this black lead, through the meter, and out the red lead to the positive side of the battery. This is a, a start battery. Uh, it's 12 volts, and this is the negative side here, and that's the positive side over there. So we've got power going to the relay. The relay is not operated because you can hear, you can see right here. Let me turn it all the way off. Turn it on. No currents flowing. Now we're going to look at the milliamps, and I'm going to tell you, how many milliamps this is drawing right there? 8.59 milliamps. Eight, it's right around eight and a half uh, milliamps. That's not very much. That's when it's just stored. In other words, you can't start this car. If this were hooked to a car like that, no uh, resistance, meaning the relay is not operated, but it's not just a relay. There's circuitry in there that has to receive a signal. You have a receiver in there. The receiver has to have power. The receiver is taking 8.57 milliamp years of current. Now that's the drain on your battery. You take a fully charged battery, it'll probably go six or eight months without any trouble. Uh, you probably won't even see it go down. Uh, there's a formula that you could do. I don't quite uh, think I'm going to get into that. I'm just going to give you the figures 
and let you see the figures and then you go and investigate how long will it take a battery to discharge a drawing 8.55 or 57 uh, milliampers of current and someone will be able to tell you uh, I'm just showing you the demonstration please give me a break I can't do it all uh, <laughs> But I want to give you some data and some facts so that people don't just guess and say, oh, it'll draw your battery down. You don't want to put something like that on. Well, uh, 8 milliamps is, is not very much, and I don't think it'll uh, draw a battery down. Now, if you don't have the battery fully charged and you uh, hit the, say it's like 12.1 volts, or you don't have a good battery, then this is going to draw it down uh, i don't know how much uh, that would have to be a, a formula to show you and calculate what the drain would be and it's out there okay now let's operate uh, the relay now that's where you're going to start the vehicle uh, you get two remotes and either one will work there's an on and off Okay, when I hit the on, the relay is going to receive the signal in the receiver, which is powered up by 8.51 uh, amps of current. It's sitting there waiting for the signal. So can you, you can begin to see there has to be something in there that is powered up all the time to receive this signal. So it's not just a relay. A relay by itself would not work with that has to have a receiver, it's built in there. It's waiting for this little push. Let's say five months down the road, we push this. Now watch that. What does that mean? That means that we have a short across these contacts. If you have your a car connected across, as shown in the video, uh, these are the two connections that, that actually bring your uh, positive or negative terminal together uh, through this short. Now you can start the car. But here's the interesting thing. When you're driving and when this relay is operated, it went from 8.57 milliampers to 251.5 milliampers. So that's a, a huge uh, increase. If you had that amount of current uh, drawn uh, when you store your vehicle, your battery would go down uh, pretty quickly. So you don't store it that way. This is the way you store it. When you finish driving your car, you turn the battery disconnect on by uh, turning it off. When you turn it off, you lose your continuity across these terminals, which it opens your battery cable uh, and actually just like lifting it off, but it does it with this relay. These contacts open up and no more current can go to start your car and you're only drawing 8.47 milliampers. That's a small, small amount. So I hope this is... Uh, uh, opening up that mystery uh, that has been discussed so many times and no one has come up with a number of how much current does this really draw and now you know. And uh, the mystery is over and I hope this helps you greatly. And now let's get the word out. 8.53 milliamps. You go do the math and you can figure how long it's going to last, but there's so many variables. Do you have drains on your battery already? Is the battery at a full uh, charge? Is the battery almost five years old and it's about dead? Uh, all of these are going to play a part, so keep that in mind.